Hello and welcome to another episode of Elk Tech. I'm your host Brian and today I am going to talk to you a little bit about VirtualBox. So one of the things that I want to show you today is how to specifically set up the Mac OS X in VirtualBox. Uh, a lot of us want to utilize VirtualBox to learn some other operating systems or maybe we have some more technical uh, reasons for using it but either which way we want to be able to use Mac OS X on Windows. So, uh, the first thing that you'll notice is down below in the uh, comments section there, there should be a link to Oracle's VirtualBox. You'll need to download and install that application first. Once you have that uh, installed, uh, you'll be able to open it up and it should look like this. The next thing you're going to do is in the comment section below, uh, you should also see a link to a Google Drive that will have four uh, fairly large uh, downloads there. There, sh uh, there should be about a, a gig and a half each, roughly. Um, you're going to want to download all four of them, and then what we're going to want to do is once you have all four of them there, you're going to go to the part one here, right click. Guess I should also mention you will need WinRAR or 7-Zip for this. Just click on the extract here. I'm using WinRAR. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to go through this process for us. And it's going to actually unzip all of the different uh, parts into this one folder here, which is exactly what we need. So you need to make sure to download all four parts. All right, now that we've skipped ahead a little bit here, we're just finishing, there we go. Uh, we can actually go into this folder that we've created now and we can check it and we can now see that we have all of the, uh, the files that we need right here, okay? So we can close this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have to create a new uh, virtual machine here. So I'm gonna call this Mac OS X, just because my commands are already made with this uh, uh, in it, it automatically changed the type here to a Mac OS X. Down in the version, though, we do need to change that, and we need to go down here to the 10.10 .10 Yosemite. All right. Then we're going to go to next. Now, right here, this is very specific. Uh, for some reason, putting in any other um, uh, combination here just doesn't seem to work. I, I get a black screen, so just as an FYI there. We're going to put in 2,560 gigabytes, all right? Uh, that's two and a half gigs, uh, and for the Mac OS X, that's really all you need. You don't need a whole lot here. Um, after we hit next, we're going to come down here, and we're actually going to use an existing virtual hard disk. That's what we just set up. So we're going to utilize this button right here. We're going to come into our folder that we just extracted, and we're going to select that VMDK. We're then going to use the create, and voila, we have this. Now we do need to change a couple of settings here. All right, so we want to go into our system here, and we want to disable the floppy disk, check to make sure that it still says 2,560 megabytes, two and a half gigs. Uh, then we do want to remove this checkbox here and make sure that these two checkboxes are on, all right? So now that we have that, we are almost ready to go. So the next thing we actually need to do is we need to go to the command line. So we're going to go CMD uh, and we're going to right click on it and run as administrator. 
As soon as we're in here, um, I have some code. It's on my website. My website is listed below. Also, at the very bottom of the uh, 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 messages down there, uh, I have this coding out. You will need to make a slight change. Um, as you can see in here, you need to change this right here to whatever you named your virtual machine, right? From there, you can actually just copy that right in hit enter and you are good to go. We've made a couple of changes here that we really need to make. Next we can start our virtual box here and what we should get right here is it's now going to go through its process of actually installing that, uh, um, that image that we just put on it. So if we now wait for a few minutes it will install Our minds are all crazy. Are you ready to go to this island? I think they're already happening. And there after just a couple of minutes uh, now that we've kind of fast forwarded just a little bit the overall process only takes about five minutes and then we can go through the rest of the process here to start setting up our Mac OS uh, from within VirtualBox so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope this helps and uh, uh, you know, tune in, make sure that you uh, follow me on YouTube, uh, subscribe, also uh, check out my website which is listed below. Thanks again for watching.